Master Proxy, thank you for your call. Have you found out the reason for the blackouts? Though it is just speculation at this point, I believe so. I reviewed the blueprints for the Ballet Twins and discovered the building's power supply solution is quite sound. It can prevent large-scale power outages. What's more, there are independent power stations underneath the building, which is why it was able to maintain its power supply even after it was engulfed by the hollow. So it's not because someone forgot to pay the electric bill. Wait, if that's the case, why would the power suddenly go out? Has the underground power station gone down? That is the logical conclusion. But it is not possible to determine the exact cause of the power failure from the building plans alone. Fortunately, the maintenance file contains solutions in case of power failure. Both buildings of the Ballet Twins have their own separate central control rooms and emergency generator rooms. Not only can these identify the cause of the malfunction, but they can also restore power to the buildings by switching them over to the backup power system. So if you find the cause of the malfunction, you'll have completed your mission too. Thank you for taking our mission into consideration. You are quite correct. I shall send you the locations of the central control rooms and the generator rooms. Victoria Housekeeping is ready to depart at your behest. According to our previous investigation, we must complete the following steps to restore power. First, investigate the cause of the power outage at the control room. If the issue cannot be easily fixed, we must switch the building's power supply mode to the backup system. Therefore, we must split into two groups, one to operate the central control room, while the other team activates the backup ether generator at its room. Operating the building's electrical circuits in the control room might involve some complex procedures, I believe Sir Lycon would be the best suited to the task. As for the generator room, the main task is to simply move the generators and raw ether materials. If it's physical labor like moving things, I can help. Moving stuff or having to mess around with circuits. Tough choice. One strains the body, the other strains the mind. Nah, I want the generator room. Being grouped with Corin means I won't have to mind my manners. <coughs> Ellen. Despite the somewhat uncouth rationale, it's actually a sensible plan, considering the balance of combat strength between the two teams. Balance of combat strength? So who's really the strongest in Victoria Housekeeping? I'll stay with you, Sir Lycon. Very well. Everyone, move out. Wait for us in the generator room, all right? Yeah. Uh, Miss Helen, please wait up! The central control room is on the left. We should head out as well. Let's go, Wise. Lucky, there was a flashlight under the doll. It's the one that was chasing us earlier. What was 
love that. So, it still wants to stop us. So, it still wants to stop us. So, it still wants to stop us. The flashlight from that doll came in handy. Everyone, the central control room is up ahead. But there seems to be a storeroom with supplies on the left. What an unfortunate accident this is. Master, we have reached the vicinity of the central control room. I can barely see anything with the blackout. Huh? Wait a minute. Watch out, Master Proxy. 
We gotta go help Lycon. the central control room to be invaded by ethereals. Sir Lycon, is the equipment all right? The backup power lights on the console are still on. I shall begin an inspection at once. Hmm? Strange. What is... Uh... Did the console malfunction? My apologies. I seem to have caused a misunderstanding. I was talking to myself just now. Actually, I have good news. The central control room is functioning normally. As long as the emergency generator room is operational, power will be restored promptly. There's just one thing that concerns me. From the information here, it does not appear that the underground power station is malfunctioning. Hmm. So what caused the blackout then? It's unclear. There is another central control room in Tower B, Perhaps the power went out because of something there. However, we'll only know once we go through the atrium. Master Proxy, please guide Ellen and Corrin to the generator room and complete the preparations needed there. Allow me to switch the power supply to backup mode. Reconnected to the building security system. Night vision mode reactivated. Allow us to escort you over. Just come to me when you're ready to go. Let's go meet up with Corin and Ellen when you're ready. Master Proxy, you should go and reunite with Corin and Ellen. Are you ready? Don't worry, dear guide. You can come back any time afterward. <laughs> it's us! Let's go! We're here! <laughs> Smell you later! Such a boring wait. Come on, we'll talk on the way. Corin and I have made some discoveries, like... Like how the generator room is actually pretty close. Terrific! Let's head there now. Those troublesome ethereals along the way have been taken care of. Miss Ellen and I were here just now. Hmm. 
There's an empty space. After conducting a simple inspection, I found that the energy module is missing. So, this empty space is where the fuel goes. Master, there is a spatial fissure in the elevator ahead. High ether activity reaction detected in the connected space. Hmm? Then, is the ether fuel stored on the other side of the fissure? Corin, Ellen, I'll leave the ethereals in the elevator to you. Fisher is one way. Identifying return route. This place is way darker than the rest of the building. Is that ether fuel? I'll take care of moving the fuel. You're so reliable, Corin. Leave the pathfinding to us then. Let's use night vision mode to find a way through. Time to borrow the eyes of this building again. I'll leave it to you, little Corin. Sure thing! vision mode to find a way through. this field and wait. Hey, Wise, let's lend a hand. Returning Fisher located. Let's hurry back and get that generator running again. Let's get that fuel on the generator. Oh, 
that effort wasn't for nothing after all. Let's contact the control room. Ah, wonderful. You've made contact. How's the situation at the generator room? Don't worry. It's taken care of. The generator is ready. Copy that. Please press the switch. I'll be here to monitor the power. Power to the building is now gradually being restored. To prevent the control room in Tower B from affecting the power supply, I have isolated the power supply for Tower A. Let's meet up in front of the atrium and head to Tower B. Hopefully, we'll find more information about your friend once we arrive. The building's lights are coming back on, but it'll take some time. Master Proxy, the nearby gate is now open. Rima and I will head over to you at once. Night vision mode is disabled due to a switch in the power supply. Use the lights to stop these guys. Avoid them. We shouldn't get distracted now. Uh, more and more just coming! Lycon, has the power still not been restored? Master Proxy, I apologize for my late arrival. Ellen, Corin, thank you for your hard work. That's the passage to the atrium. Now that we're all here, let's charge! that we could restore power so quickly. Our master will surely be grateful, too. Oh, don't mention it. Hmm? What's that up ahead? Uh, this is... Hmm? Do you recognize this backpack? Yeah, this is definitely Reigns. So, she really has been here. There might be some clues inside. Hmm? Music. It's a playback device. It seems to be on a timer. It doesn't look dangerous. Watch out! Since we've been invited to dance, I suppose we should oblige. Master Proxy, please find somewhere safe to hide. Allow us to take care of this aggressive guest. Sick! 
by the music it seems someone is trying to use ethereals against us did rain do this no she couldn't <laughs> Ellen, leave one of them conscious people here besides us but who are they oh thanks for that just now <clears throat> Ellen what's wrong she needs help it's nothing she's just asleep so fussy <sighs> it doesn't appear that they'll be waking up anytime soon we should get them out of the hollow Good, you're back. Are you and Eos okay? No injuries? We're okay. We've just had two scares in a row, so I'm still a little shook. My apologies, Master. As I was still processing hollow data, I did not detect the approaching enemy's heat signals in time. It's not your fault, Fairy. Just keep processing. Thank you for trusting in me, Master. Ethereals in the atrium, then a bunch of unidentified armed individuals show up? What's going on? Looks like things with Rain aren't that simple. I wonder what Victoria Housekeeping thinks about things. We only said we were looking for our friend. So what do we do now? The attackers we captured might know where Rain is. We'll have to question them when they wake up. Yeah, thinks about thinks about heavily armed inside a building in a hollow. They must have been up to no good. I want to go check on Ellen too. If she hadn't acted in time, Eos and I would have been in serious danger. You're right. We should definitely thank her. Well, Ellen seems to like candy, and we bought a lot recently. Why don't you bring her some? It's not a very expensive gift, but it'll at least show our appreciation. Congratulations, dear guest, on finally making up your mind. If you'd come to this realization earlier, it would have saved us both a lot of effort. 
Is it, uh, is it alright for me to be here right now? Ah, dear guide, you're here. Please don't mind us. Our guest just woke up and wanted to leave without permission. So we asked him to stay for a while. Sir Soldier, as a member of a rebel army, you should be well aware of the consequences if we turn you over to public security. If you tell us the truth as to why you are at the Ballet Twins, we may just let you go. <sighs> All right, then. Well, our unit sponsor commissioned us to do something on the roof of the Tower B of the Ballet Twins. Be more specific, please. I, I'm just a grunt. I don't know the specifics. A few of us were tasked with guarding the perimeter. If we found someone had entered the Ballet Twins, we were to prevent them from getting too close to Tower B. So you're the ones who caused the blackout. Uh, yeah. At first, I thought you were all just explorers messing around, and I could just scare you into staying away. I didn't expect you'd get the power back on so quickly. Our squad leader said, with your kind of power, you're definitely not ordinary people. You're probably here to save that girl, so we lured that weird ethereal. Wait, that girl? Where's Rain? What have you done to her? That little... Uh, girl... is with our squad leader on the roof of Tower B. She isn't in any danger. I take it you're admitting to kidnapping Miss Rain. Rena, keep pressing him for details. Master Proxy, may we talk in private? I'm sure someone with your intellect knows what I want to ask next. You want to know who Rain really is? Precisely. Rebels have occupied the Ballet Twins, and Rain seems to be quite important to them. If you are reluctant to share information openly with us, it's likely to impact our next move. Next move? Does that mean you're still willing to work with us? Instead of leaving it all to public security? I'm sure you understand our employer is quite well known in New Eridu. As representatives of our employer, if we depend on public security for a simple task like property maintenance, Victoria Housekeeping cannot allow such idle gossip to arise, tarnishing our master's reputation. And since we've confirmed Miss Rain has been kidnapped, Victoria Housekeeping cannot stand by and watch criminals use our master's property for such misdeeds. So, in other words, we share the same goal. As I said before, if you wish to work with us, I hope... Thanks, Lycon. I get what you mean. We wanted to keep Rain secret, but now's not the time for hiding things. Rain is actually a hacker. If you'd chosen to seek help from public security, we'd have been in real trouble. I see. If Miss Rain is a hacker, then they must have kidnapped her because they knew of her abilities. And the Ballet Twins' rooftop is the perfect location to transmit messages. Those thugs are still guarding the building, which means their mission is still ongoing. We need to save Rain as soon as possible. Otherwise, who knows what might happen. Victoria Housekeeping is of the same mind. I'll make preparations for the rescue. Please wait for further contact.
Master Proxy, Rena and I have been monitoring several of the building's exits. The rebels are still on guard and show no signs of leaving. Looks like they still need to use the rooftop to complete their mission. Indeed. With the perimeter guards now out of contact, they've undoubtedly heightened their defenses. I'm afraid this operation is likely to involve a direct confrontation. We'll need to break through the enemy's defenses as quickly as possible to save Miss Rain. We're counting on you to help save Rain. Master, I have good news. I have finished decoding the building's hollow data and can now detect heat signals in real time. I've been waiting to hear you say that, Fairy. Well done. Protect the proxy, everyone. Let's move out. Master, I have located the nearest biothermal signal. Guards! They might know something about rain! Can't open it. Try taking a look with night vision mode. newspaper on the ground in many of your favorite video games using items is a common way of collecting secret clues
Can't get through here. Let's find another way. There are qu Don't worry. Use night vision mode or the light to dispel them. Can't open it. Try taking a look with night vision mode. Watch out, everyone. The enemies are up ahead. time. like these are just the henchmen. The hostage must be with their leader. Lycon, what's this device they had on them? It looks like some kind of transmitter. You are correct. This is a military issue G03 multi-frequency signal transmitter. It's quite powerful. Along with the right multimedia devices, it could even aid intelligence operatives in hacking into high-level security systems. Wow. I'm surprised you'd even know about this sort of thing. What kind of work do you usually do? I apologize if that surprises you. 
For housekeepers such as us, this is simply common knowledge. R really? Well, at least now we can confirm they kidnapped Rain for her hacking abilities. Hey, I found this with all the enemy's crap. Wait, isn't that the airship the court uses? Timetables, route maps. They even have hardware diagrams of the integrated control system. Master, there was an incoming call from Billy. Allow me to connect you. Hey, manager, is that you? We've got trouble! Things just went down big time on the airship! Calm down, Billy. Tell us what happened. <sighs> okay, so, like ten minutes ago, Perlman said he needed to check his suit, and the guards okayed it. But the moment he opened his suitcase, smoke exploded everywhere! Then everyone on the ship passed out, including the pilot! I was saved by my air intake malfunction. What? So who's flying the ship right now? It's in autopilot mode. It won't be crashing for now. But manager, I noticed something. Its scheduled route has been changed. It's flying straight toward the hollow where the Bell-A twins are! Won't be long now until we plunge straight in! What do I do, manager? Should I report it? Will they even believe me? Based on what Mr. Billy said, the airship route was changed a while ago, but nobody on the outside has heard about it. Looks like this is Rain's handiwork. She not only took control of the airship, but she must have also faked the signal to make everyone think it's still on the correct course. Hang on, what are you guys talking about? What's Rain got to do with this? Long story short, Mr. Billy, Miss Rain was abducted by a group of rebels, and they used her to control your airship. What? Wait, if it really was Rain, I don't think Pubsec can handle it. Oh, no, is this the end? There's still something we can do, Billy. The proxy is right. Victoria Housekeeping is currently with the proxy and the ballet twins attempting to save Miss Rain. If we can save her in time, we may still be able to change the airship's final destination. Seriously? Lycon? Manager? Do you really think so? Don't worry. We'll save the airship. Stay in contact, though. We might still need your help. Got it! Master, I have calculated the airship's flight trajectory. The airship will pass 15 meters above the Ballet Twins in 25 minutes, before making contact with the Hollow less than 30 seconds thereafter. Let's hurry, everyone. Didn't expect this. Let's pick up the pace. Look, Wise, there's a key next to the enemy. I've detected a fissure to the upper level behind that door. That's our target. The lock is not smart tech, so unfortunately, I... We've got to a new area. Let's keep going. to the circuit system of the new area established. Elevator leading to the rooftop area detected. It appears we can use the elevator to close in on the enemy. Great idea. Let's circle around and ambush them. Master, I have found a torn newspaper on the ground. It may provide you with some clues.
registered. Due to certain technical reasons, this elevator can only travel in one direction. You cannot return once you go up. Are you certain you want to activate the elevator now? Valve status analyzed. The valve opens only once sufficient gear coins have been inserted. The lock is not smart tech, so unfortunately, I cannot... Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. I have located a hollow exit that leads to the rooftop. Nearby thermal signal detected. Biometric signature matched. Rain. We found rain, but there's enemies everywhere. Let's approach the target with caution. haven't noticed yet. This is a great chance. Enemy! Alert! Where the hell did they come from? Inform the captain now! Go! Point. Get blessed! You won't have the chance to take your friends off. Don't 
get in my way. Wait, Captain! Didn't the employer ask us to bring her back and find out how much she leaked? Mm, they're already on to us. We won't get away if we're stuck carrying dead weight. We were paid to do a job. We completed our primary task. There's no point in putting our lives on the line. We'll just say she didn't survive the ether corruption. <coughs> Sorry, but it's your own fault for knowing too much. Sir Lycon? No. Saving Miss Rain and the airship is more important. Rain! Rain! Are you okay? Don't worry, you're safe. We're friends of Nicole. We're here to save you. You're... You're really here to save me? Quick! Get to the rooftop! We're running out of time! The course airship is about to... What was that? It came from above. I'm afraid this won't be easy. Reporting in, Captain. The timed explosives have detonated as planned. Hollow structural changes have been detected. The path to the rooftop is gone. Copy that. <laughs> they took the hostage back, but they can't save the airship now. Master, a significant change to the upper floors of the building has been detected. The path to the rooftop is gone. Those thugs did it. No wonder they abandoned the hostage. They were prepared for this. Fairy, search for another path to the rooftop immediately. Master, I have located a hollow exit leading to the rooftop of the building. The exit is located near Ballet Twins Tower B. Estimated travel time, seven minutes. As we have to traverse high corruption areas along the way, possibly encountering dangerous ethereals, I cannot calculate the precise time needed. Don't worry, Master Proxy. Ethereals won't stop Victoria housekeeping. I know you must be physically and mentally exhausted, Miss Rain. But we're counting on you to deal with the airship. If all we need is to break control over the airship, I can disable the jamming equipment as soon as we reach the rooftop. But I heard them say to ensure the plan went smoothly, everyone on board was knocked out. Is there anyone left to steer it out of the hollow? Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Billy is still awake, but he doesn't know how to pilot an airship. Rain being able to free the airship is already sufficient. Please leave the rest to Victoria Housekeeping. According to our intel, the airship should fly a short distance above the Ballet Twins. Since the airship lacks a pilot, I shall be the replacement. The original exit has been destroyed. They really didn't hold back. Luckily, Master Proxy has found us another way out. So many ethereals on the way to Tower B. Is it really okay? Please, leave them to us. We'll be counting on you then. Now that I've recharged, it's time I get serious. Try all the tools you can find. Increasing visibility will help us see the enemies earlier. We don't have time to play with you right now.
Don't get in my way. Oh, finally. We made it too. Are you okay, Master Proxy? Out of the way. seems to be a scrap of newspaper on the ground. There are some handwritten words on it. Here, that's the exit. Prepare to break through. Right. Huh. Wait, something isn't right. The music, isn't it the same as before? It seems our guests haven't had enough fun yet. Rest assured, Master Proxy. For Victoria housekeeping, it's plenty of time. Your wish is our command. <gasps> Let's go. Are they the Dancer Sisters? They do have the style of dancers. But now isn't the time to admire their moves. <laughs> Avoid it. Yep. Got you. Trouble move. Eager activity increased. I get invited. Be careful. Be careful. You disappear. You cannot stop me. <laughs> Travis Shark Nami! Here to serve you. The perfect fight! That's one fancy thing. Watch out! Get ready. I knew this wouldn't be easy. Clear out! Warning. The airship is almost here. Stay ready. The enemies are looking tired already. They did it! They left! Our mission continues. Onward! <gasps> Manager! Manager! I'm over here! Billy! 
Warning. The airship will reach the target location in 20 seconds. Ten seconds remaining. Hurry up! We're not gonna make it! Five. Four. Three. a strong anesthetic, but they'll wake up in an hour or two. We owe you big time, Lycon. Oh, you're too kind. We are honored to have worked with you, Master Proxy. It is thanks to your assistance we were able to safeguard our Master's honor. Word from Public Security is that the Rescue Squad and Air Force are on the way! Billy, we can't let Rain get taken in by Public Security. Her identity as a hacker is unique and she hacked into the airship while under duress. We'll take her into the hollow and make our exit from there. You know how to deal with public security when they get here, right? I didn't inhale the gas, so I piloted the airship here for an emergency landing upon discovering what had happened. Oh, right. Speaking of which, after all that's happened, can we still hold the vision trial? Public security will likely take Perlman back and then reopen the trial. I'll leave this to you, then. We'll get going. Take care, guys! Uh, uh. Thanks! Punishing evil and upholding justice is the mission of the Cutting Hairs. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder what Nicole's face is gonna look like when she wakes up and finds out what happened today. Hmm? What's that sound? Ah! Perlman! Huh. Weren't expecting me to wake up so soon, were you? Those bastards! They pretended to agree to my demands, but they wanted me dead from the start! If I get taken back to public security, I doubt I'll even make it through the night! The way things are, I better get the heck out of New Eridu pronto! Good morning! You remember what day it is, right? I remember. We agreed to meet Rain today. Rain sure is impressive. She only had it for a few days, and she already cracked it. I wonder how she's been doing lately. After getting out of the Ballet Twins, she stayed in a Victoria Housekeeping safe house for fear of those militants. Since she's meeting us near 6th Street, I guess the danger is mostly past now, right? I hope so. <sighs> We're finally learning something about the memory unit, but Perlman managed to get away on the airship. The Vision Corporation trial had to be postponed. Also, I saw an internaut the buyer of the Ballet Twins gave up buying the building and paid a penalty. For fear of those two weird ethereals? Or perhaps because the building was almost involved in an airship hijacking? Well, all that aside... Let's meet up with Rain first. Kaleida and Grace will be coming later, too. Good morning, managers. You're five minutes early. How have you been doing, Rain? 
I've been laying low these days, but Victoria Housekeeping has been taking care of me. I'll be back to my normal life soon. Thank you both for saving me. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Don't say that. It's thanks to you we saved the airship. But if you don't mind me asking, how did you get mixed up in all of this? Well, since it's you asking, I guess I don't have any reason to hide anything. A while ago, I was contacted by an unfamiliar client who refused to disclose the specifics of a job, but who was paying very well. I pressed them for details, and they said we could meet. Yeah, I thought it was suspicious, but I was swayed by the money. So that's it. But you're amazing, Rain! Even taken hostage, you managed to get a call for help heard from atop the ballet twins. Considering how it all turned out, it's a good thing it was discovered. Their employer wanted to know what I leaked. That's the only reason they kept me alive. So who's their employer? I'm not sure. They never showed up. I only got a phone call telling me about the airship. But I did overhear something. Their main reason for attacking the airship was to get rid of Pearlman. They also mentioned some sacrifice? Sacrifice? What do you think they mean? Sorry, that's all I know. Oh yeah, I've got your thing here. It's all good. Thanks so much. Don't mention it. I'm just returning the favor, so I'm not charging this time. You're gonna investigate the memory unit next, right? Guess I'll leave you to it then. I'm sure next time I see you, it'll be as a customer at the video store. And as a friend, of course. You're welcome at Random Play anytime. Khalid and the others should be arriving soon, Wise. We should be getting back. I hear you tried to find someone who could crack the memory unit and got dragged into another major incident. I'm guessing it was Nicole who told you? It was a close call this time. Several of the cunning hairs almost met their end. Anyway, at least everyone's safe now. It feels like the city's been on edge lately, but maybe it's because I'm always thinking about that monster. I wanted to decrypt the data on that memory unit as soon as possible, but now I'm a little nervous to find out what's on it. Don't worry, Sweet Pea. Whatever we find on it, we'll face it together. Mm-hmm. Grace is right. Fairy, would you do the honors? Yes, Master. Analyzing memory unit data. Oof. Master, a fragment of audio data has been detected. Its last recorded system time is the day before the fall of the old capital. Audio data? Are you able to play the audio? Affirmative. In that case, do the honors. Loading audio. Please wait. <laughs> Looks like... I <laughs> underestimated... <laughs> it's my old man! Sounds like he's hurt! Calm down, Sweet Pea. This recording was years ago. <gasps> Horse is talking to someone. I told you, pretend you know nothing, and we'd all be fine. <coughs> I'm a father. <coughs> How could I let something that threatens my daughter's life go free? <laughs> Dad, you idiot. <sighs> Just tell me, the monster in the monument, what is it? <clears throat> okay, consider it your last wish. It's called a sacrifice. What did he say? S sacrifice Wise, did he just say sacrifice? What's up with you two, Faithen? 
That name. We've heard it once today already. A reliable source informed us that the reason someone was going after the court's airship was to do away with Pearlman. And those same people mentioned the word sacrifice. What? Wait. So Pearlman is somehow related to what we're investigating? Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaleida. But Pearlman hasn't been heard from since he stole the airship. He's probably already run off to the Outer Ring, right? All right. We'll just have to find out what's going on over there then. I never expected to be investigating the same matter as our guide. Sir Lycon, they know about the sacrifice. Is it okay to let them continue their investigation? It's no issue. Master has had a change of plan and given us new instructions. Provide them assistance or guidance as needed. They're too involved to keep them out. But perhaps they can become our allies. <laughs> <laughs>